All right, David, music. By the way, I've looked up Dr. Doom. I don't consider that a flattering comparison. Oh, it uh, is. It's not terrible. Mike, he's one of the top villains. But I'm not a villain. I just wanted an edge rusher. Or I wanted the wings to make the playoffs. But it's not really. He's like an anti. He wants the world a certain way. That's Doom. I'm all in. All right, I'm getting a green cape in the whole thing. Oh, and the, and the mask? Sure, oh. sure. Wait till MSU I, loses to Minnesota tomorrow. I'll, I'll wear it on the air. I'll tell you even more about the uh, Dr. Doom later. Go okay, ahead. thank you. David Music. Well, guys, I have your first post-free agency mock draft here. Ooh. So let's see if some things <laughs> have changed. I always hear, I, I hear Doug after yeah, you do yeah. that. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody call Gator. More football questions. <laughs> so the top three never change. I've got an itch on my ass, and the <laughs> only answer is football. <laughs> One, two, three, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Football! Drake May. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't change. They haven't had pro days yet, so maybe we'll see after pro days. Maybe it changes. My I don't football. Know. All right. uh, <laughs> so number four, that doesn't change either. That is Marvin Harrison Jr. Arizona? I think he's it, locked in. There. It makes the most sense. They need a number one. They've reinvested in Kyler. It, it just it adds up. And he's ready day one, man. Are there trades in this mock? There is one trade. Because I think Arizona can still get Marvin, but move out. More football. And they could move up with your Giants. It'd be amazing. Love it. Don't the, care. The Giants at six do take J.J. McCarthy. I don't think they have to move up, though, to get Hold him. on. Now, let me ask a question. And I've already said it. I'll say it again. I have no qualms about taking J.J. Because my quarterback room, there are high schools with more talent in it. Daniel Jones, and they sign Drew Locke. They still take a QB at six? Because yeah, I'll tell as you. As of right now, yeah. How about Roma because, Dunze at six? No, no, because I don't think that they think either one of those are long-term solution. I'm aware. They're both, no, no, they're both Band-Aids. It's what we talked about for the Lions. You're only going to be at, you hope to be at this high in the draft. Three years. And then after that, you're not going to get anybody at okay. pick 28. So since we're here at six. All right. I can easily see them swapping with the Cardinals, taking their quarterback because you – I mean, the Raiders just got rid of, well, I mean, the Broncos going to need a quarterback. More football questions. Yes. I, I'll, gi I'll give you this, Mike. Vikings are going to need a QB. You and there aren't enough to go around. So, J.J. becomes a hot commodity. I'm sorry, David. J.J. is becoming oh, a hotter good. and hotter commodity as the days go along. Now, is he going to be great in the NFL? I don't know. But right now... He's the it guy. Mm. So a lot of people are going to do some dumb things to move up to get him. No, you mentioned Roma Dunze, Mike, and let me tell you this here because I'm gra grabbing this from CBS. CBS has dueling post free agency mock drafts. Two different guys have done them. In the other one, they do have Roma Dunze going to the Giants. See, this oh. is something Rico's trying to sell Big G, that they're going to take a Dunze at six and then Penix later in the draft. I don't know if you guys deserve a doomsday. Okay. So let's go back He's to nice the original. You, you New Yorkers. <laughs> There's truth in it. Atlanta, they do not have to take a quarterback now, so they get Dallas Turner at number eight. They have been trying to get a pass rush in Atlanta for what seems like a decade. Going all the way back to the day the kid brought the dead photo of Grandma up on stage. Who was that? Remember when he brought, like, the five-by-six photo? It was yeah. like the Mona Lisa size at the Louvre, and it was his dead grandmother. I remember that. Who what, was that? Tack McKinstry? That sounds about right. That was a, that was the best thing I've ever seen at the draft. I went, wait, grandma, is that a picture? Is that an oil painting of an old lady? Yep, she's dead. See, here's the thing. An that, oil painting. That helps Atlanta because you get the best edge rusher. Because yep. everybody else is going quarterback and wide receiver. You just got edge rusher one. I don't hate it. I don't. Well, I'm glad you said that, Rico, because cornerback one goes 11 but it's a trade up the jacks trade up to get quinion mitchell toledo at 11 so they want q or a cb1 yeah and they just got uh rodarius williams yes. is leaving in free agency so it would make sense look if i'm the here's my issue with the jacks 
and I know I'm the representative of Jacksonville football. When are you going to fix this offensive line? I, I Seriously. I'm just wondering when you're actually going to do something. But we can start with the offensive line. Just fix the old line I've been waiting for Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Rico Holt, now be fair, that old line was a disgrace last year. It was. Come on. I know you don't like him. I get it. It's not that I don't, you like, don't him. like him. I don't like him. No. I just waiting. I mean, I, I was told he was going to be the next great QB. I think it's there. Well, you talk about QBs being uh <laughs> coveted. <laughs> yes. This is way too high. Oh, don't tell me Bo Nix to Denver. Yes. Stop. No. Oh, I think that is starting to trend. Because they Nix. know J.J. McSizzle's going to Times Square. Well, no, but quarter they, they need quarterbacks. So you know what? Rather than trade up, let's start looking at Bo Nix. But it was funny, though, because... No one showed up at his pro day. Like, well, you know what? That's Oregon's fault. Don't hold pro day during the middle of free agency. We got better things to do. But he's like, like Bo Callahan. No one came to his birthday party. No one showed up. How about you have your pro day next week? Yeah. Like, why would you do that? He's going to have to have Tonight. a lot of private throwing sessions. Yes. Yeah, that, that was the dumbest thing in the world. Like, no one thought about this. So, yeah, I think they had some, the, uh, some bears were there, but I don't know why, because you're not taking him one. But, yeah. Bo Nix, and I think Penix will eventually move up to later in the draft as well. Brock Byers goes number 16 to Seattle. Bowers falls to 16? You don't yes. need tight ends this year. Yes. That's wow. why. If he's falling that, that low, if I'm in the Colts, I'm jumping on board and I'm taking Brock Bowers. See, but see, he's I, awesome. I, <laughs> what I, on earth? But I don't, I don't approve of this because I've never been one to take the local hero. But Seattle is a place where they could take Penix and say, we're going to take the local kid, quarterback, and you'll get a year to get ready, and then next year we're going to hand the reins over to you from Geno. The Steelers take uh, the cornerback, Nate Wiggins, but my question for you with them is now that they've traded Deontay Johnson, is wide receiver now on the board for them? Can I 20. ask, where did Malik Neighbors go? I didn't hear Malik you mention Malik Neighbors, name. yes, he did go in the top ten. He went number seven to the Titans. Got it. I, David, listen, I, the Deontay thing had to end that way after he openly and brazenly quit on his teammates in a game like that. It had to happen. You have Pickens, who I think you desperately want and need to be wide receiver one. Your Steelers have been so good over the years in the second and third round finding great receivers. I don't know that I would take one in the first round there. I trust you guys taking receivers big time. Go look at the history of Steeler receivers. They're all in the, the later rounds. Yeah. While they're Steelers, they're good. Once they leave the Steelers, they're crazy. Very true. Mm, Let me something give in you the water in the three rivers. What the Lions get at 29, Darius Robinson. Mizzou? Mizzou. He's been mocked to them a lot. That would be a, a plus for the Lions. Local kid. I, I really, think it would help him with the edge rush. I'm, I'm viewing it differently. I really want to see an offensive lineman at 29. But you eventually got to address this defensive line. Because oh, they have. Marcus don't, Davenport, don't, don't, bro. Stop. Stop. <laughs> what? Just, you know, DJ stop, Reader. Stop. No. And, and then John I'll, Kaminsky restructured. How dare you? I'll close it out. You, okay. You, do you. Hey. I trust Brad Holmes. Detroit? <laughs> I hate you. Did you like playing games in the playoffs at home? Mar football. Then go out and address the defensive line. David, that's what that did. Because after everything Brad Holmes has done for you, how dare you? Let me close it out with what your 49ers. <laughs> My level of hate for you right now. <laughs> with what's off the charts. And the <laughs> only thing that'll fix it, more football. <laughs> so your 49ers at 31, they take a trade. They give the pick to Minnesota. Minnesota takes Michael Penix Jr. Okay. I'm here for that. Penix indoors on the fast track with Justin Jefferson and Mario Addison and uh Num Nuts. Je yeah, Jetta may stay. KJ Osborne. Okay. They may he may stay for that because Penix can throw the ball 70 of them. So all right. I'm Football. good for that. Excellent job by How you. How did the Chiefs finish? Who cares? A Donnie <laughs> Mitchell. Okay. I can't with y'all. A D. All right. That Tremendous. In football today. <laughs> Football!